in the morning analysis i asked you to sell us 30 at 33 8 80 levels and us 100 at 12 120 and see what it has achieved 11 9 80 33 700 and i told you these are support levels also i hope you all profited till now so what to the us session we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which will keep you updated with the next analysis which is going to be released with the asia session 12 hours from now do watch that analysis also so let's start first we look into tech 100 followed with dow jones do watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels and trade as per the levels now look at the early charts now see in the morning analysis i told you this is a support zone at 12000 11970 11950 and i told you very categorically this is a very strong support zone yes us 100 has erased the gains from here and it has come back to the same levels however giving you higher lows it is trying to rise now once you see it trading about 12050 yes rather i will say uh, yes you can buy here at 12030 levels but then expect 12060 as the first resistance and beyond that you can expect 12100 12120 levels so if only and only if it trades about 12150 you can consider that as a bullish reversal and it can continue to rise that is the first part and only sell entry only sell entry is below 11950 levels only if it trades below 11950 we can expect little bearishness now see the directional movement here is bearish the stock stochastic is oversold here on the early charts possibility of a bounce back can be seen the macd is bearish and it see the peak is done possibly from from here it may converge and hence bullish candles can be expected the rsi is also seen a little drop possibly from here we may see a little rise now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts see increasing waterfall here and higher lows are done possibly once it trades below 12030 you can buy for 12060 12100 12, till 12150 you have to trade with caution only above which little more bullishness can be seen directional movement moderately bullish here the stock i stick is oversold the macd is divergent and bearish here it is looking forward to converge the rsi has seen a good drop and if you look at the 3 hour charts now look at the 3 hour charts yes the candle size is diminishing and yes only if it breaks past 12060 you can expect a little rise how far it can go 12080 12100 12, 12, levels certainly be a good resistance only above which little more bullishness can be seen directional movement bullish stock i stick oversold the macd is divergent and bearish it is looking down rsi is comfortable and if you look at the 4 hour charts now look at the 4 hour charts see increasing candle size indicating increasing bearishness once it draws below 11970 you can expect 11940 and then 11900 850 this is going to be the next strongest support levels now see the directional movement here is moderately bullish the stock has taken seen a sharp drop the macd has crossed over and this is trading with divergence this is trading bearish in the morning analysis i did tell you that it is striking a crossover at a high and possibly we can see a little more drop there the rsi is also looking down and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts in the morning analysis we did see that lower highs are seen and only and only if it trades beyond 12150 and 200 you can consider it to be bullish but look at the beauty of the movement here higher lows lower highs and hence once it draws below 11950 it will call for more bearishness till that time you have to trade with caution it can possibly swing between 11980 to 12200 12200 200 levels possible pictures the directional movement is bullish trying to converge here the stock i stick is overbought and hence looking forward to a little drop the macd is bullish and it is trying to converge the rsi is looking forward to a good drop here it is overbought here considering this for the day you can buy here at 12030 but then till 12150 and 12200 till 12200 you have to strictly keep a trailing stop loss first resistance is at 12060 then 12100 then 12120 then 12160 and then we may see it hitting 12200 levels and remember it can reverse any point of time from these resistance and hence you have to keep a target of these levels and keep booking profits and keep re-entering if you see it in trading in the same direction there is no 
easier way to make profit and save capital but to keep closing keep booking profits and keep re-entering about 12 200 certainly we can consider this as bullish and it can fly away on the upside till towards 12 400 level on the downside you can sell here at 11950 rather i'll say 11940 Below 11,940, first target 11,900, second 11,850 and then 11,800. Only and only if it breaks below 11,800, consider this as bearish and then we may see a little drop. Take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones and before we proceed, yes, if you want to learn the art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 19th batch is going to start on 6th of February. Only limited seats are available. Book your seats now. Reserve your seats now. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Remember, equip yourself with the tools, techniques and strategies which you can apply anywhere in any instrument be it currency, commodity, markets, forex, crypto or in fact individual stocks. So do reach out to me for more details on same. Now look at the hourly charts. On the hourly charts, one thing, now see this see this is the bullish moves here for us 30 and this is the bearish moves and if you see the bottom here is at 33 600 650 levels so only and only if it you see us 30 trading below 33 600 you can consider that it is trying to break out on the downside where you can expect 33 400 as the major support that is the first part now look at the hourly charts it is trying to consolidate here 33700 indeed is a good support once you see it trading above 33800 and sustaining above 33800 you can stay along for 33850 338900 now 900 is going to be a very good resistance see this zone where it has consolidated between 900 950 is a good tough resistance zone above 33950 once again stay long for 34050 34200 level but this is just on the early chart see on the two uh, directional movement here is bearish the stock I stick is at bottom. The MACD is bearish. It may probably convert from here. The RSI is at bottom too. And if you look at the 2 hour charts. Now see the 2 hour charts. Possibly once it breaks past 33,800. Then only buy it for 850,900. And then beyond that 950. Only and only if you see it trading above 950. Bullishness can be seen. Directional movement bearish. Stock I stick oversold. MACD divergent and bearish. It must convert. RSI at bottom. And if you look at the 3 hour charts, see 3 candles are done and this candle is, you can see the body size has diminished and hence it can show you little swings in between 33,650, 33,850 levels for the opening session, for the US session opening. Hence you have to be cautious in between these levels. Direction movement moderately bearish, stochastic oversold, the MACD divergent and bearish here, it is probably, it may look forward to converge. The RSI is at comfortable levels and is at bottom also. Now look at the 4 hour charts. Now see connect the 4 hour charts here. You can find it is still very much. See the bottoms here. Now let me draw it for you beautifully. Now see if you connect the dots. This is the bullish channel. The support here at 33600. So only if you see it trading below 33600 it will call upon for the bears. As there is every possibility that we can see it rising further and only if it trades beyond 34,000 we can expect it to trade more bullish. Now see direction movement is bearish here. The stochastic is oversold. The MACD has crossed over here but it is looking forward to converge here itself. The RSI has also dropped a bit. Now look at the daily charts. On the daily charts first thing is it is you can see it has broken this channel which was a bullish channel and it has given you lower highs now see this is still the phase of consolidation if you look at now as you saw on the 4 hour charts 33 600 is the very good support below that we can see it in fact 33 200 as the next support level because this is a phase of consolidation it has to come out of this in order to give it a direction which means 34 500 and 33000 or 32 800 so wide range but yes Directional movement here is bearish. Stock ISC is overbought looking down here. The MACD trying to converge again. The RSI is also looking down. Now considering also look at the candle here. See if you just eliminate this candle you will find lower highs are seen. Hence this makes 33,950 level as a pretty good resistance here. Yes, uh, 
a good safe entry for buy is about 34000 right now you can if you want to buy you can buy her at 33800 expect 850 900 950 and if it breaks above 950 you can uh, 34000 if it breaks above 34000 stay low. at the same time you can sell here at 33700 but then expect 33650 600 is the major support below that you can expect it to drop till towards 33400 levels if not today possibly by tomorrow we may see those levels if it continues to trade below 33600 level then only we can see a little more bearishness and then 33400 33200 are two strong support levels which it should not break in any case so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss and yes do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon join my mentorship batch join my signal group reach out to me for more details thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead and yes my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead. thank you